Okay, thank you everybody for coming in. We're going, we're going to get started here in just a moment. All right, everybody, thank you for coming in. This is Mr. Nice, your host of Kung Fu Fanta. And today we are on Saturday, the 30th of September, 2023. As you can see on the screen, if you have a screen recorder, go ahead and get that out now, whether if you're on your phone, your tablet, or your computer, because today we're gonna to get into uh, Mercy, her right of reply to JT, the bigger figure, uh, basically mis deliberate misinformation. This goes for the scammers, especially, but also it goes for anybody. And I really want to address the scammers. JT is a scammer, all right? And there was a question before we got started, is this a civil case? In America, it's a civil case and a criminal case. In Kenya, it is a criminal case. So let's make that clear. In Kenya, it's a criminal case, and in the States, it's a civil and a criminal case. Mercy cannot talk about the cases, okay? This is her uh, right of reply. So let's get into you scammers. JT came into Kenya and it pretty much immediately started scamming. He had he had a plan to scam. Uh, hi, everybody. Hi, gentlemen. Um, Kenya is a very beautiful country, but do not come in here and try to scam people. It's not safe, you know, because for us, we advocate for justice in the sense that people should be taken to court. But, you know, if you come here and you're boasting and doing this and that and saying, come collect whatever in blood, could be you, you know, don't play with people. Don't play with your life. Understand? Oh, sorry about that. And um, yeah, that's it. So we're going to go ahead and get started. What we're going to do is play a series of videos, but it's just going to be audio with, with just an image of what JT the Bigger Figure has basically been saying uh, as of late. And we're going to go ahead and respond to it, but Mercy's going to respond. So we're going to go ahead with the intro video from JT the Bigger Figure. Hold up the lane. So they told me, JT, you can put it in your company name, Film on Africa, and leasehold. But either way it go, no one can take it from you because leasehold is legally binding and then freehold is legally binding. So that's an update for all the people who bought. Yeah, 99 year lease. That gives you, all you need is six years to be get qualified. If you don't get qualified, your wife get qualified. If your wife don't or your husband don't, then your son or your daughter. The whole purpose is you're gonna do six years here for it to transfer to your name, but until then you can get leasehold and it's 99 years. Hello. Shout out to Mercy, shout out to Alex, and shout out to David. Man, all this shit going in my name now. Feel more African. <laughs> you know, I was worried about that. Do you know when I first got the land, I didn't even have to put it in her name? I could have bought it as freehold land. I just didn't know the difference. I was like, I don't want no fucking lease, leasehold land. Freehold land, put it in my lawyer name. That's my land, do my lawyer. Fuck that shit, just in case. <laughs> but I've been approved by two more lawyers like nah, JT. The status of the land, as of right now, it's under freehold, do your lawyer. But when we transfer it, it's gonna say Filmo Africa, freehold, but the stipulation, I still have to get my citizenship to transfer it out of freehold in the business to freehold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's some good news for somebody who got some land for me. Hell yeah. See that? I'm a smart guy, nigga. <laughs> Do you all hear all that? There's a lot of contradictions. There's a lot of, you know, he was just saying, I didn't know. I didn't whatever. So when he's saying shout out to Mansi, shout out to these other two advocates, I mean, me and him, you know, re remember when I was holding it for him, that's how it's supposed to be. But he's saying here that I didn't even need to put it in her name at all because he's meeting other people out here who are telling him, you don't need to do that. It can actually come to your company. Like I told you, a body corporates are not on freehold land. A body corporate that has one for even one uh, foreign shareholder it cannot own freehold land in its name. This dude is contradicting himself, but he can, he clearly, you can clearly see, he knew all these things. Why are you purporting to sell something you do not own? 
press ipsa locator these facts speak for themselves i think this so you can clearly see the subtitles are there i didn't need to put anything in her name and putting in my name his own land that is how you can do it there's no way you can get leasehold and you're not a citizen so any attorney who was purporting to tell him that was lying to him and he knew that he needed seven years for him to own to be able to transfer you cannot sell something you do not own as a foreigner when you have a passport when you have a passport you're supposed to procure your alien id because most people just join in and 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 do it with when you do it with a kenyan you can use their pin uh, their career pin certificate because ideally when you're registering it you're supposed to submit that however a foreigner can own a company in their name alone you understand but they can't do that unless they have an alien id because the alien id will enable them to get a career pin certificate you cannot incorporate a company without a career pin certificate nowadays when a certificate of incorporation is issued it is linked to a career pin certificate uh, to a career uh, uh, pin certificate yes so you so re- you do realize there's no way as a foreigner who wants to own a company alone can own a company if they do not have that pin certificate and you cannot get a pin certificate if you do not have an alien id the people who are processing a uh, pin career pin certificates with just a passport only that is uh, that is wrong because when you only have a passport you are uh, you still like a tourist because you only you are only on a 3 3 3 month visa you understand so the document that enables you acquire that is an alien id any company that has even one shareholder who is a foreigner is deemed a foreign company even if you want you only have one share you understand for as okay. long as there's a foreigner on board who is a uh, who is a natural person and is a non citizen uh-huh. that is deemed a foreign company and therefore it cannot own freehold land anywhere a foreigner is whether through a body corporate or individually by themselves you cannot mention freehold land in the same sentence I hope I'm 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 I'm, I'm clear on yeah, that. Yeah. And that is captured in chapter 5 section 65 subsection 1 I believe uh mm-hmm. subsection 1 subsection 2 and subsection 3 of chapter 5 of uh, uh the constitution of Kenya 2010 Anywhere there's a okay. foreigner freehold land cannot be explained you have to go through the process of citizenship and you have to be here continuously for a period of 7 years only right now a foreigner can own a company alone a foreigner can own a company can own a company alone but you need to ask yourself how are you because that company needs to pay taxes you need to file annual returns okay so how do you then how are you able to do that some foreigners have had uh, kenyans on board but as a foreigner you can still have a company alone right now previously you couldn't but the companies act 2015 you know we have a new companies act 2015 a foreigner can actually own a company alone in their name but you have to proceed and get your documentation in order you cannot be a tourist purporting to own a company again you cannot register a company in Kenya called Filmo Africa you have to remove the name Africa so Filmo Africa is an illegal entity for him to purport to call it a company duly registered in Kenya remove the word Africa conduct an official search at the registry of our companies if the name is available you reserve it for a period of 30 days pay the requisite charges and then incorporate the company after filling duly filling the forms but you cannot put those con- connotations like i told you guys last time you cannot add a name kenya if it's a private company because film africa is supposed to be a private company limited by either guarantee or by share or whatever you cannot add the word africa you cannot add the word kenya you cannot add the word whatever if it's not a public company this is a private company so it may be called filmo limited not filmo africa limited noted okay to the next one i want to shout the brother out who just landed here last night he bought some land for me shout out to everybody who bought some land for me and transferred your shit over here 
I want to shout the brother out who just landed here last night. He bought some land for me. Shout out to everybody who bought some land for me and transferred your shit over here. They all smiling too. I'm going to say that again. Shout out to everybody who paid for your land while I was in Burkina. Then I spiked some in another part of Africa. Hey, y'all think I see some. I'm going to go check it out. Boom, I come check it out. I make a clear decision within 72 hours of me landing here like, hey, this is the fucking Africa I need to be at right here. Now I got a chance to still be who I want to be in life, nigga. I, now I got a real chance to uh, <laughs> again, <laughs> shout out to the brother who bought some land from me when I was in Burkina. All right? When he was in Burkina, he'd not even met me. Shout out to everybody who bought some land from me when I was in Burkina. That was a way, uh, way long. These people bought land in Burkina Faso. So this idea of him converting his family land to some groups, purchases, and, you know, uh, it's just wishful thinking. You understand uh, what else did i i don't know if you you're gonna be pausing so i don't forget he said everybody is smiling are you guys smiling investors are you smiling <laughs> who is smiling who's in Burkina Faso right now on the land he bought can you come out and show us you've constructed a house you have a family there they are on who's smiling in kenya they are all smiling that's what he said go figure because I'm I have, really I have to to say, um, he does he does an awful lot of uh, bragging. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> a little too much. I'll put the scar across my face right now just to be alive. So it ain't the scar that's bad. It's the mental shit, nigga, that's bad. Imagine if I stayed over there now, I'd become a serial killer because of what happened to me. And now I just want <laughs> See the rappers how they always be every video. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I didn't end up a bitter, angry black man bent on revenge only. I want some revenge, but not a, not at, at my expense. My revenge got to be a gift from God, and He put me in front of these people where I can take a nigga ass out without the police knowing. That's how you know it's a gift from God. Why? A I or I. Two for two. Nigga, you shot me, nigga. I got the right to shoot you back, nigga. For God in the Bible. Fuck the police. Fuck the feds. All that shit. Well, yeah, JT, the American law is you can't kill anybody. Okay, that's right. I'm going to just wait till later then. If he live long enough, I'm going to catch this bitch. I'm going to shoot the fuck out this thing. Right? Okay, now uh, we're going to go to the next segment. Trying to get your land. Yesterday's prices. Is it today's prices? I'm going to be saying that May 1st. So, all the people who have been talking to me, get your deposits in. Because on May 1st, a thousand square feet going for $2,000. And I come with free water. If you want to buy on our other land where there ain't no water, that would still be one thousand. Yes, I start with the smallest piece. Of can you pause? And if you want more, you can negotiate the price. It doesn't allow me to pause on That's this. That's what feels good about okay. being a land owner. I have the number I'm gonna be posting so that you can call to the guy who runs the land. Because whenever you want to go, go visit real quick. Go pick out where you want your land at. It's either in the front, it's either in the back, or it's in the middle. I don't know. I think I'm going with the middle. Yeah, that's where my space is going to be, the middle section. Yeah, that way I'm close to the front and I'm close to the water. The water is in the back. <coughs> yeah. I, I repeat, you cannot sell square feet on freehold land in Kenya. You may do that in imaginary jurisdictions or in mass or wherever, I don't know. But in Kenya, that cannot happen. He's here actively selling, mentioning that there's a gentleman who is in charge of I don't know what land. There's no mention of Mercy because Mercy actually 
told him you cannot do this. 1,000 square feet, that's unheard of. I told you that only applies to sectional properties, majorly. And square feet is in leasehold, either land or apartments. You cannot do square feet shenanigans in a freehold parcel. Secondly, what did he say? Yesterday's prices are not today's price. This is someone who's actively selling. This is someone who's like in the market, advertising and selling. So when he purports to um, Im I implicate somebody in his calm, saying he knew, da, 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 da. am I with you on a stupid live talking about the 1,000, 2,000 square feet? No. So, I mean, this looks like it's an obsession he has. <laughs> dragging my name left right and center but in your own words you can clearly see it was all you and you're talking about some gentleman i don't know holding whatever in charge of the land i don't know when you're selling land you're the one responsible you cannot assign that obligation to somebody else i cannot say i'm selling land but somebody else is gonna show you that automatically shows that this is a scammer I don't mean to make it comical, but I, I mean... No, no, no. I'm actually just laughing at the ignorance being displayed. You understand? Yeah. Like, I even feel ashamed that I was this individual's attorney. Like, we had these conversations. One thing I want to point out real quick is that he is in America purporting to sell land in Kenya. How can you be in America selling land to Americans and you're not even in Kenya? You're not a Kenyan citizen. Who are you? What are you selling? You're not in this jurisdiction and you're speaking on it in monetary terms, in transactional terms. Who are you? Secondly, the total disregard to the rule of law exhibited by this individual, the constant verbal diarrhea. Think about it this way. He kept talking about mercy, mercy, mercy. You can clearly hear, he's telling everybody, Daniel and his team. So the driver, you are trying to implicate in your scams. You're talking about Daniel to be in charge of your land. How does he come in, in situations of land? He shows people land. How? Make it make sense. And that's why my problem has also been with these dumb trolls engage your brains before you just type for the sake of it do not ashamed your ancestors like this but if you want to do that then it's up to you daniel's team is waiting for you as who he's in america selling land to americans that is in the kenyan jurisdiction dan is not even in the live most likely most probably he actually doesn't even know is being adversely mentioned and then joined in illegal transactions. 
how does one show you land you do not own first you are not in the jurisdiction that land is being held for you in trusts and now that the person holding for you told you you cannot do this you are purporting to now talk about the driver we live by him his family we are going to be neighbors you can pick your section right in the middle do you want it at the front do you this is typical theft and hard of this is actually an embarrassment <laughs> to the kenyan law imagine this is a narcissistic thief with feminine undertones you worried about somebody who actually just helped you by trying to <clears throat> hold something for you and when they told you no <clears throat> you tried implicating the second uh victim and the third and the fourth as you will see in case i continue doing this bullying his lawyers bullying whoever you know trying to implicate them right now as we speak he's bullying wycliff current attorney who is holding the land for him also trying to enjoin him in this in his uh, unethical business practice and scrupulous this individual is just beyond repair jt you are not good for africa and i'm not going to lie and pretend and be like oh da 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 da, da. you are beyond redemption you first of all stay over there get your manners right and then maybe maybe you can appeal to the african people your brothers and sisters who you've been going to the village taking photos of people with you know uh situations that you know they don't have money or whatever using those photos to enrich yourself shame on you shame on you because you may have done that which i can't take from you giving rice or doing whatever there are people who have that do you know people are associated with go and do major major donations but they never carry a camera If you wanna do a donation and you're carrying a camera filming it so you can show people how good you are how generous you are God's plan blasphemous talking about God disrespecting everybody disrespecting the ancestors disrespecting the African people you are the caliber that are not right for Kenya but I have to really insist using their for yeah but I did this I did that you did that and you filmed everything to show people you are holier than them Allah, i don't know who you pray to using this poor situations poor people and you don't know there are people who do a lot you think you're the only person who's done this and that you carried your camera for clout to collect donations there are people who've done this let me just tell you not just americans i have several uh, clients that i'm representing i cannot start mentioning their nationalities they have done big things but we never carry cameras you will never see so see madam casanova there's a stage i think you skipped in your life i don't know if maybe you it didn't go well for you in your rap career now you're trying to revive it in your 50 years of age trying to pretend but i gave them rice though the way you talk down on my brothers and sisters in this country you give them rice or whatever take photos of them you know and use those photos to scam see i did this i did that I shut up don't do it don't do it don't disrespect them like that they haven't asked you there are people who are doing this who are not even americans and they don't carry cameras and there's americans who, who are doing this and even if they carry cameras they're not just stamping like you How do you give somebody bread and then you're bragging about I gave you bread I gave you bread every day you are a very sick individual you need therapy you have mental issues literally you are an emotionally unstable and intelligent and weak man you need help you literally need help because I feel so bad you use these photos I gave them rice though that was my rice that was people's money and you stole from so many people because that money didn't come from you it's some of the americans actually all the americans were donating towards these charities 
So it's not your money. You're just there doing that. But then they're giving you 10 shillings. You're using one shilling and you're rubbing it in Africans' faces. I gave them this running to radio stations and his deriders, his fellow minions who wait for um, instructions from their paymasters. Like, man up. You, this individual has not evolved. He's still a child. He did not evolve into a man. Oh, JT is a legend. Yeah, legendary failure. <laughs> anyway, I'm done on that. Either way, this, is, this should serve as a warning. My fellow African-Americans, I'm watching you. You can say whatever you want to say. You can deride JT. And do you know they actually created accounts and put my image there and they were telling YouTube that's me. They were trying to have your channels. If you have not done anything wrong, have you seen me doing anything to your channel, even with my photos up? No, I don't have to. Why are you doing what? Why don't you want people to see and know this? I'm calling upon my African brothers and sisters, the ones that can see this, can see through this nonsense. JT, you are an embarrassment to your fellow African Americans. They are good Af African Americans, but you're the one who's making it worse for them. And soon, when everybody realizes this is what they do, where are you guys going to go? Somebody is trying to help trying to okay this is how you can do it this is how you can be here thinking fellow brothers and sisters you go to the villages take photos and such a stamping i gave them my rice though da, 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 da. stay with your rice in america and i want to add to that that uh you know when you said that he's not right for africa he's most definitely not built for africa nor is tishabu and anybody else that does things like this so let's go i said my own package is that part feels so good to me that I don't have to explain myself. For all y'all texting me, oh, I need you to explain more. Nigga, I'm not explaining shit. Nigga, if you don't understand what's going on, this package ain't for you. I typed out what the fuck you eating. If you don't understand that, man, get the fuck away from me. I don't need your money to go buy some, go buy some stock in Tesla and see when you get paid from Tesla. Go buy you some Facebook stock. Dude. Go buy some title stock. Go buy them stocks in rich companies and see when they pay your ass and see. You know? See what they give you. <laughs> Hello. I like talking my shit. Why? Because I'm most of you. I pay dues. Nigga, I've been doing this shit for 30 years, man. Nigga, all that some new ass people coming in here trying to tell me all this other ass shit. Oh, what it is? What the hell? Hey, hey. You go somewhere else, little black man, motherfucker. You go somewhere else. If you don't understand what I said already, I'm not gonna explain myself to none of y'all for what? I typed it out already. I need you to explain it more. You need to get the fuck away from me. I don't need your money, nigga. I'm gonna post my back in camp in a few more days. I'm gonna just put a screenshot so you can see the type of guy you've been with. If these next transactions go through first. Yeah. This ain't got nothing to do with you. So I really want to invite you guys to the part where he says, I type out what I want to type out. There's no mention of what does the law provide for in those circumstances? What can be owned and what can't be owned? He doesn't want to answer that. Whatever he types is absolute. You take it or you leave it. That's what he's saying. All right. This is somebody who formulates and creates his own imaginary laws in his head and says, don't ask me any question. If you wanna ask me a question, get the fuck away from me. How do you support to sell me something? You the vendor, me the purchaser, and you don't want to offer an explanation. How do you type out shit? Is law typed out shit? Do we type out whatever we wanna do? to suit our circumstances in his own words the only reason we are putting up this kind of whatever to hide their face is because the him and his minions a battalion of idlers have been creating accounts in my name trying to strike this channel doing whatever because he doesn't want this information getting out in your own words JT intentionally with all intent 
and purposes told people whatever you type out is what they pay for not what the law provides for you as an individual created your own laws and said this is what you're buying anyone who's asking questions should stick the f should say the f away from you you filmed as i keep saying your own scam you will bite your words one day keep at it <laughs> try to do whatever try to because this man has talked about me every day for two and a half years he <laughs> it's it's an obsession now he i don't know he it's predatory like i feel violated he wakes up smokes a joint mercy these are your own words your people were sending you money because they believed in your dream they, they actually thought you were out here paving the way for them unfortunately you were just stealing their money and now you're running to them oh protect me from this african woman stay there you and your minions don't deserve kenya or any of these other african countries stay there stay there i can see it clearly now there's very good african americans you would be surprised is this jt from america is this other uh black american from america do they come from the same country what happened do these ones feed on something else that goes straight to their brain and these other ones are okay like there's a disconnect you cannot believe he's over here telling people that whatever he types is what they will get with no regard to the laws of the land so this is outright obtaining money through false pretenses this individual is an obtainer so stop talking about me you you i mean stop talking about you're interested in my personal life who i'm seeing who i'm not seeing. Shut, aren't you supposed to be married aren't you supposed to be i mean Facts. come on come on now <laughs> come on now i mean just get something get get a get a hobby do something maybe you can start rapping does he have any hit song i don't know at 50 i think he's trying to revive his career right now <laughs> and he comes to africa lies to these rappers come I'll, I'll, da, 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 i'll take you guys to america you look down upon them and that's what hurts me you put i gave them right though the racism that is experienced here is not from amuzungu to 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 us guys jt actually treats the people is given rice like lesser human beings i gave them my rice though but but then they take it why are you going to the village to take advantage of these people because they're not gonna say no honestly they're not gonna say no there are people who do that but they don't come and torment them you taunt somebody you are this you you i'm giving you this and then you have a camera you have to film everything you have no morals hmm? who, who are you what happened to you like what kind of human being are you don't you ever get tired don't you have a soul like like why are you taking advantage of this you'll give them the right here but for today and then use those videos to enrich yourself for years and years and years oh baby lucy hospital bills and then you go do the bare minimum but collect a lot more you're enriching yourself using photos of these vulnerable people do you know how many charities we do under the like you know under the scenes like we're hiding people do these things quietly you're using these videos time and again anytime anybody calls him out for being a spammer he automatically revives the videos i helped did my part god's plan god shut up legendary jt you are a legendary failure at 50 you are still running around using photos from the village of vulnerable people who will not say no to that rice because they need it all right but then you lose those photos to just thump where's your bra where was your bravado when you're here you're talking about this on youtube that's the only place you can you can come and address me because you do realize you're a champion there you thrive in the trenches in the gut with your minions that is your place there's no place for you in africa sit back down 
reevaluate your life at 50 you still have a long way to go i pray that god grants you a long life to change think change your life and then apologize to the villagers you used to the artists you used to the bukina faso rappers you used to everywhere you have been if these victims can't tell you this let me tell you this because i'm not afraid of you you can continue doing whatever you're doing talking about me doing whatever but i'll tell you this i pray that god grants you a long life that you can sit back down and think using photos of vulnerable people because they can't say no to the rice just thumping da, 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 da. their ancestors are ashamed of you they are turning in their graves you are an embarrassment and shame on you shame on you absolutely i have nothing meaningful <laughs> to add on this and what what i would like to add to that is the the whole thing of given rice and unga um it's 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 rude to refuse gifts in kenya for those who don't know i see it all as she because i've seen that they start to add land to the nft now you can buy nfts that come with a piece of land that's in america well my land is in africa but i'm definitely trying to do that american shit too let me get my money together and we'll put you up to buy these money acres in america That's when the Bill Moore states will start. Bill Moore states don't start till I buy new land in America. Bill Moore Avenue is not Bill Moore states. Hello, I'm taking big time now. I'm not taking little time. So if anybody's offended, get the fuck away from me. I don't know you personally. What the hell are you offended? This ain't the fucking American stock market. They don't even lose money. I made my shit where you don't lose shit. Now, the hell's going to be my company and then golf start with all the golf for money. That's the white man business with the stock market. You bought all these stock and then... <laughs> and then, he, he wants their money and he's abusing them. Calling them to order. To, he's illegal. <laughs> and unethical. And ethical. business transactions and practices oh my god and when you ask the real questions he says get the f away from me wasn't he just saying i don't want to be a killer in america i'm living in africa now africa is bad he was saying i don't want to be there popping in buckets while you were here and let me tell you something the next time you come we'll remind you in your own words what you said JT looks down upon these africans and pretends oh yeah yeah did you see how he was treating his house manager did you see how he was treating everybody else less oh and let me remind you on the gifting thing because let me just talk about it on this segment when uh, i think he realized we were almost done or something like that you'll see soon he started sending me 5000 So he sent me the first time I was like I've seen some money what is this for he, remember he has two attorneys we are done 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 it's thank you dinner I'm like what but you see JT does things like that you know he did a live and said you know and I want to give a tips or whatever tips do you honestly in your small head believe my dinner would cost 5k and then you're sending it so you can have a a message of having sent me something you know which i just decided to reverse because this guy is i don't know this is what he does does something why, why are you sending me dinner i don't accept anything from anyone you will pay me for my legal services but gifts i do not want anything from you do not send me anything and he's doing that so he has an a transaction message of having sent you dinner and they say yeah we call i don't know she she said i'm illegal she said i'm what but i sent her dinner though the same thing is doing to the village people dude 5000 cannot do anything for me 
you were borrowing me money not the other way around so how do you think your 5000 can do anything for me and you're only doing that so you can have that transactional message the trail to come and use it and do whatever african people are generous like the lady in the chat room i can't see it again i'll get your name thank you so much sis she said i come from luyaland imagine when you pass by the village in our home when people are having food outside they'll invite you and you have to eat they're very generous so people don't say no to these gifts you understand there's a specific attorney who can't even say anything here because jt is holding him at ransom bullying him sending him text messages and i can understand that's why you see i'm not even saying anything crazy about none of these attorneys <laughs> yeah he, he said oh, da, 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 da. whoever is i don't know richer than me and my law firm that's not even the issue i'm not even i can't even talk about issues like that if you're pressed about who's rich who's not rich then you're just a child bigger you're not a bigger figure you are a child that did not evolve into a man and it's sad because 50 and you're still like a teenager i can honestly tell you this is like i'm, I'm on a rant with a very small teenager a 17 year old that i'm ranting with <laughs> african people the people in the village will not say no to that rice trust me they'll not say no to that uh, sugar and corn and whatever but when you go and do it with ill motives ill intentions vested interest is immoral it makes you a very bad human leave them alone leave them alone did they call you for that You're texting them they called me they did this they can game up people love me they whatever people you have deprooted issues you need help you want you loved as a child you you need to start finding out go to therapy don't use this village people they didn't call you for imagine if they found out you're using their acceptance of these gifts to flaws and just stamp and all that bravado on youtube but but they took my food they cannot say no and they will never say no even if you came back today and went to five villages they will take it and say thank you they don't know you are a scammer they don't know you are a thief have you given them that even if they knew you were you are targeting vulnerable people in the society and it's that is what you remember when we were enslaved that is that mentality so you out here just stamping talking about we were clear it's like you have beef with us you need to figure out you, yourself you need to dig find yourself find yourself there's an inner child that is crying for there's something really wrong with you because for me to even be actually replying and just doing this it's for the people that deserve to hear it not for you you i don't owe you anything you can think whatever you want to think and in fact i am just so happy that i get to participate in chastising you on behalf of the ancestors because right now they are turning in their graves you're using vulnerable people instead of uniting as black people instead of uniting we are fighting on youtube left and center trolls some of them were trying to come to my facebook and i don't know whatever i don't have time for in fact all my accounts are private so i have to approve before i can read anything but these are fresh accounts that have been created this is just i don't know these individuals have not evolved into men this this are this are this are this are, this are i don't even know what to say mad men like there's something wrong with you and i'm realizing now and you've made it so difficult because it's not easy for me right now to just accept instructions from just people because i i think you know these are my brothers and sisters no right now my god is very high up you've spoiled it for everybody you know you you trying to bully your lawyer calling you what are you doing you working with mercy nah these people have taken an oath how can mercy imagine that so many people who are supporting me they have never said anything to me. we don't know each other i've never like i don't even know them but they know, they are smart they are sm keep being smart they're engaging their brains they can look at this situation objectively but then there's these other ones who whatever he says goes 
come yeah let them come collect it in blood come do this for how long are you going to do this your children are watching we are not supposed to be doing this to each other imagine but we are here fighting i wouldn't even be here explaining myself this is somebody i helped i tried to you know you came here with children very adorable children other than just being your attorney as you used to say you guys there's so many videos of him saying she's my friend my business partner and my sister he put up photos of me on his community page she's an angel she did it oh what happened <laughs> the angel became a demon he had adorable children he was out here alone struggling with the children of whatever you understand so the wife he was also involved in whatever but you know there's that aspect of he's like i can't go back to america babylon is falling there's a uh, uh, lgbtq whatever rights you know and i was like oh my god this is crazy so i get into my helping mode and then that is the worst mistake i ever did was actually helping this individual you know look at what i'm dealing with right now i don't have to deal with this he found me thriving this is a problem this is a do you honestly think for 3 years he's dealing with this explaining yourself do, i don't need to actually i don't have to but there are people who deserve this and i'm hoping through this story even if it's just one person you get a lesson the scammers will be afraid they won't come to kenya they know there's people like me who exist stop sending those little gifts and using them against these african people if you're supposed to be their brother be their brother or stay the hell away from them they were doing great did you find them uh, dying they were still living within their means with whatever they have in the village their vegetables their their cattle you know everything they had on their land coming with this and that and then using those videos for a whole decade what you did people who do good you don't have to say it people will just see you know to another country so they saw me they were which was next door to Daniel's land Daniel had the plug with the chief I wasn't buying that land from that man when I talked to the chief and the elders of the community first when they gave me permission that's when I made the payment I made the payment through my lawyer I put the land in my lawyer name we transferred the ownership of the land to build more Africa estates. Yeah, because I couldn't buy no land in my name. Nigga, I got to do seven years. They, I still got five more years right now to do in Kenya before I get my, my passport and citizenship. But they got a new president coming this year. When his staff come into play, money talk and bullshit walk. Man, I shouldn't have to wait no five more years to get my citizenship. Man, I need my citizenship. when the new president come in. Hello. Shout out to all my immigration people that tell me what I should do. JT don't try to get your citizenship right now. Wait for the new president. They need to take a minute for him. Every president do. Every government that come in, that's what they do. Chinese niggas go over there to African ladies pregnant nigga and get a citizenship marrying an African lady instant goddamn citizenship or marrying one of them African ladies. But I told them I got a white ball ready so I cause I was gonna get married to an African lady. My wife told me to get married, baby, go get the goddamn citizenship. Cause once I get the citizenship, I can give it to her, my sons, and my daughters. And then they said, JT, they're going to put up your American records to see if you're married in America already. And then you're not going to be able to do it. I'm like, damn. Tisha Boo is over with. You got to either pay the money or wait for like five more years. <laughs> Shout out to my wife. My wife told me, get married to one of them ladies over here. ASAP. Because that will be going for the future. For the future, it's gonna be an apple. God willing. Yeah, I'm not gonna be living in America. Oh no, I ain't trying to. <laughs> I told you, this is all laughable. It's like, um, do I need to, like, you know, write a book or something? No, 
absolutely not. I want to tell you, this is very dumb to even, uh, you know, associate myself with and my brand. So <laughs> there's so many things I've got here. I think we captured this in the previous live we had. This that was part A. This is part B. Let me start with the fact that he's talking about the Chinese. Stop lying. Stop lying. Because in this country, even if you get married to a Kenyan, you must wait for the seven years. And you must be here for the entire seven years. I repeat, you cannot come today, marry, get married, uh, marry Marcy, and then go back to America and then come back. The reason you're supposed to be here for the seven years, so they can vet you. Are you good for Kenya? Another thing, in the first five years that you are here, if you are charged with any criminal offense that would get you in jail for three years, that's a felony. That's it. You, you, you can't get citizenship. It can actually, whatever citizenship that would have been given to you will be cancelled and renounced. You will get your citizenship after the seven years, yes? But in the first five years after citizenship, that makes it the 12th year. If you are charged with an offense that would attract a penalty of a certain amount of money or jail time of up to three years, your citizenship will be cancelled. So just because you you have acquired your citizenship, it does not mean now you can start living large and well. It is in the law. Find out. That is the law in this country right now. Current law. You cannot get married today and get citizenship. You have to wait for the seven years and you have to be here consecutively for the seven years. To he said, Tisha, I spoke about it previously. I am really avoiding talking about because I'm not a bitter person like him. So today she's going to get a pass. If she said, fine, you know, that's upon them. If it's whatever it is, that those shenanigans, that's the problem. What else did I get from that? Um, they gave me their land, my dance place. I, When you start that live, that a video, it said, I couldn't buy that land from that man without the community or whoever giving me permission. That's what he said. So when he do he does these videos talking about Mercy sold me the land. I mean, do you always have a temporary do you lose your mind sometimes? I think it's probably because of long term drug use. You have selective amnesia. Today you remember Mercy sold me. That's why I'm telling you guys this is obsession. This individual is obsessed with me. This was him talking about buying the land from this man. The Daniel, they introduced him to the man, you know, the chief and everybody else had to uh, you know, uh, authorize it or something like that, thumb print it. So then how then does it change to Marcy? I don't even come from that community. So you see, he's obsessed with me. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why he's obsessed with me. Like I'm that attorney who got away because you are a, an evil person and I cannot associate myself with you. What else did I get from there? Uh, for the citizenship, I've told you I've also told you about committing a crime once you get citizenship. Uh, what else did I tell you? The good thing is once you get married, at least you don't have to take out your alien ID and work permit and whatever, unless you're involved in some business, sort of business, that's when you need to get in their classes, different classes, class M, uh, class G for investors, you know, where you have to show that you have a 100,000 USD. You have to just prove that you have it. There's class K for the retirees. You know, that is just ordinary. You're going to be an ordinary uh, foreign resident here, not now a foreigner like a tourist. Then there's a uh, class D for employees. There's different classes. That's another whole topic. What else do I need to tell you before I forget? Um, yeah, you get married and then just be here for seven years. Stay out of trouble. Don't get your fingerprints biometrics taken. Because when that happens, then it's going to be hard for you to get citizenship. Well, uh, don't engage in any uh, gainful employment or any business because you're not taking out the work permit. If you want to engage in gainful employment or a business, then you need to get the appropriate 
work permit. Of course, the work permit after that is when now you can be able to get your biometrics taken at immigration. And after that, you get your alien ID. With your alien ID, you're able to apply to Kenya Revenue Authority. You get your um, Kenya Revenue Authority PIN certificate that can be, it enables you to pay tax. You're not tax compliant, you're taxpayer. So you'll be paying tax to your company, you know, if you have a company and then the company does it because a company is a legal entity separate from the owners. You understand? So say we have a company, me and um, Benson. So if Benson and I are in a company, those are three, three entities now, two, natural persons, which is human beings, me and Benson, and then there's a company, a separate legal entity from we, the owners, who are shareholders, and maybe I'm a, I'm a director, he's not, but he's a shareholder. So that is three, you look at it as three entities. I'm trying to explain it in the best, you know, in a layman's language. The company on its own stands on its own. That's why when it's, it can be able to sue on its own uh, and be sued. You understand because it's a legal person however if the director say me i've done something and benson has not done we we do what is called lifting the corporate veil through an application to the court you apply that the corporate veil gets uh, lifted so that i can be able to face my charges as an individual who is in the company but i'm responsible for one two three things i think this applies in common law countries and whatever so that's also free consultation. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Ready for the next one? Yeah, absolutely. Nobody right. in Kenya allowed to marry more than one wife? Uh, in Kenya, as a Kenyan citizen, and of course, uh, under customary law. But this means you cannot go to church and have a, 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 a Christian marriage, and you cannot go to the Attorney General's office to have a civil marriage. You can marry as many as possible depending on the community you come from. However, you cannot take any of them to a duly registered, like you cannot get a marriage certificate, whether in church or at the attorney generals. Say I'm a lawyer and then I get married to anyone. Uh, say say uh, now you, because you're the dude. I want to explain it using a dude so that it's very practical. You can marry as many wives as possible for as long as you have not taken any of them to either church and gotten the certificate or the attorney general appeared before the attorney general. Uh, there's a registrar of uh, marriage that uh, officiates that specifically, but they are domiciled at the ages, um, attorney generals, uh, whatever. Not that the attorney general of the Republic of Kenya will officiate that marriage. No, there's a marriage registrar that, the, you know, they issue you with those certificates. So under customary law, like uh, Muslims can marry up to four wives. They also have their own laws, you know, that uh, govern them. Cut these courts, you know, when they want a divorce and there's the um, talaka, I don't know, it's called whatever, they go to those courts. They cannot go to our courts, you know, for Sharia law and whatever. They have, there's a jurisdiction and there's those specific courts that are in the tire of the chief magistrates, um, resident magistrates, district one, two, three. That's a topic for another day. But you can marry, say, um, one wife today, and then tomorrow you marry another one. The moment you get that certificate, you cannot marry another one. It, uh, whoever has a certificate is the legal wife. So if you want to do more than one, it has to be customary where you go people exchange gifts your family and this family you know there's the the uncles from this side this other one as well you bring cows others bring camels others bring goats or whatever you exchange those you take photos you can marry as many as you can like from where i come from lawyers you can marry uh maybe three wives two wives depending on your financial capability but the moment you 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 do it under the Republic of Kenya, like do it at the civil registry or in church, because also even as you go to church, there's a certificate that is issued that originates from the civil registry. But this is a marriage that was done in church. So JT is officially married to Natisha. So there was no way he was gonna marry anyone else in Africa unless he divorces Natisha. Or I don't wanna use 
the name. Oh my god, I forgot Kung Fu. I'm not well uh, conversant you're, with YouTube. You're, you're, you're good. You're good. Yeah, I'm I'm really not conversant with this because uh, this is not where I thrive. I thrive in the laws of the land. Uh, you know, I thrive in legal things. Maybe I learn, you know, yeah. with technology yeah. and the way it's evolving and stuff like that. There's no way he's going to do that unless he does because they'll know. They'll find out. And if they find out that you are trying to do this duplicity, you are married in America and you have not annulled it or you have not uh divorced uh, your spouse and you're coming here for purposes of citizenship in fact if they find out you're only marrying this Kenyan for purposes of citizenship that's a criminal offense so that that is something we should also discourage that is somebody who was under the influence of drugs when he did that and it's very disrespectful to Tisha you see I'm very objective she has done whatever she has done but that that man is very disrespectful for even alluding to such things you know it's very disrespectful of you because I'm, i don't know if she said that but even if she said that you know it's very it's very funny this dude has no breaks he says whatever he wants to say sometimes he's sufficiently inebriated he is very incoherent says anything that comes out of his mouth blabbers to anyone who bothers to listen most of these people who encourage him and, and and enable him are just like him they see themselves in him so it's just part of the same uh birds of the feather they're yeah. flocking together it's very disrespectful i do not yeah. appreciate that telling my wife told me to do this most likely she didn't say and if she said i mean those are their shenanigans anyway but yeah i i want to add to that part too because um about the marriage thing when i got my certificate the man who signed it at the courthouse with a smile on his face said you cannot marry a second wife anywhere in the world If we find out that you married a second wife even in America and you come back to Kenya, you'll be arrested. And he said that with a smile on his face the whole time. And then we concluded our business. And that is true. Reasons. And he was very serious. That is true. Try that at your own peril. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so we go okay, well let's go ahead and go to the next one. Shout out to my wife Tisha Bushu and everybody on Facebook. Certificate for me, certificate for share. <laughs> that was weird. That, that just sounded weird to me. All I can do here is just laugh. Like this is somebody who has no regard for any law in any land because he doesn't even respect America. I <laughs> see the things he's talking about. He's he's actually publicly talking about scamming the people that were texting him then. <laughs> you know. <laughs> like this is bread right here. He's he's using he's using his fellow brothers and sisters imagine he is and it's just the blind who can't see you know the only thing i can do is feel bad for them you know it's very sad because what are you doing to your own brothers and sisters imagine what he'll do to us imagine what he's doing to me <laughs> you know like i do not even condone calling his wife out of his name and when he disrespect his wife look i'm also checking him like seriously dude <laughs> that I mean I can't even say anything more he already said whatever he is I can't even respond to that because this takes a fellow criminal to respond to another criminal 
<laughs> so I can't respond <laughs> on that. That's criminal mentality. <laughs> and I'm not a criminal law practitioner. I don't represent criminals. <laughs> Now, real shit. Have you ever had to go through 500 text messages? You don't know which one's real or fake? That's my life right now. Nobody told you to put your number on social media, goddamn. Well, I don't give a shit. I'd rather really talk to the people who they know they can call me. Direct. Shout out to my wife doing all the paperwork and all that. Shout out to Tisha Blue. Hey, Tisha Blue. That's my baby. Love you forever. That's my baby. Have you ever been infatuated with a woman, my guys? Have you ever chased your wife around the house like she's your new girlfriend? I'm always infatuated with my wife, but uh, you know, not like a new girlfriend, no. But as it should be, every man, every actually every woman deserves that. You understand? Yeah. I mean, wives deserve that from from you know from their husbands. What is the point of you marrying somebody if you're not planning to be infatuated, do whatever to her every day? You understand? So, well, that is that point right there is good. I picked up another point that he said. Uh, Shout out to my wife doing the paperwork. Did you see? Oh yeah. Yeah. She is the one who does the paperwork. I told you this individual is dumb. Dumb the dumbest. <laughs> And I'm saying this <laughs> without prejudice, well it's the truth anyway. So, wife does the paperwork and I'm glad that he's infatuated and you know, loving her or whatever. <laughs> at the end of the day but he just revealed a lot of stuff so you're saying you said my wife does the paperwork yeah you you actually did this on your own life and the people who recorded this is not even me like i've gotten a lot of support from people i don't even know people that i know like they've recorded this thing they have all these things and they're just like see we know we know masi and i feel so blessed and honored and i, I don't know There's nothing more I can say and this I'm actually doing for you guys. Yeah, you so you can see. You know, why it for him I wouldn't even bother. He's a little guy. He's a little guy. Askama who will probably have no he takes photos of uh, him. He posts them with artists. There's a specific one he does with Jay-Z and yeah, probably he met them one. at a party. Probably he met them at a party and you know posed with them in a photo hi can i have a photo with you or maybe they were friends or business partner i don't know i wasn't there he, he's worked but, with a few he's worked with a few but i don't think he worked for every single one of them but he uses with. those photos he uses yeah. those photos i want to see a current photo of you with jay and imagine he takes photos reposts photos when he was still young when he managed to meet them probably he was in the industry and i didn't i've never heard anything about jt the jt that i know that I've seen from a page on Instagram the shed room I've seen is JT is a female I've like this JT is only famous on YouTube with his little minions you know there's other subscribers of his that are objective they just follow quietly he doesn't know most of them are just recording for what purposes and then there's a few ones who talk about Mercy you don't know me shut up I mean Don't you have anything meaningful to do with your life other than talking about this lady you don't even know you're pressed about her personal life because you don't know anything I do not put anything out there so you will never know you'll never see and I would never why would I show my clients my personal life you understand that's a professional uh, unethical actually misconduct you cannot do things like those for me it's professionally that is how I deal with my clients anything else that is out of order So he puts up those photos. See me and those are all photos when you're still a teenager. Show us the current ones. None of these people wants to be around you because of your reputation in the industry or in the scam world. And now he can only start hanging out with scammers because those are his friends. I know fellow scammers have beef with me because I'm trying to out their guy and this is whatever. Shut up. I don't give a damn about none of you thieves because the only place you'll always thrive is in the gutters anyway that is his life choice whatever he decided to do but when you do something like that i'm definitely going to respond i'm in this jurisdiction all you have to do is come back let's go to court please provide your evidence do this and that 
you know and he's talking about this land that he's being held for by his attorney so what are you talking about <laughs> we'll talk about that again when you know if i whatever get time and then we can do this but i think i'm done with that maybe the thousand dollar packages just the last of it right here y'all i'm gonna separate the land from the triplex the certificate come with land and it come with the triplex so you know it's, it's your choice but if you wait till he's gone then the land is separate from triplex there it's not all together it's not a bundle so them bundles I've been promoting is five left. Did I tell y'all it's gonna sell out? This shit sell itself, man. But I had to make the video because I still got a lot of people texting <laughs> some funny little shit. I'm like, bro, this is not that. This ain't welfare, nigga. This ain't the welfare package. Ain't no welfare, nigga, my trap legs or Africa. It's nothing against you if you don't have money right now. Don't feel bad. It's just you can't afford this package right now. But if you were smart, you would put a goddamn deposit down and then that way you can negotiate when you think you'll be ready. No deposit, ain't nothing to talk about. I got people like, hold it for me. I'm like, yeah, we cool, we homies, but I can't hold none. If another person come by, then I'm selling. I only got five of them deals left. Everything else is going to be separated. It won't be all together. I did this for people. You know what I mean? Yeah, God bless you, man. God bless, man. I hope everything work out for you. Yeah. Any words? <laughs> First of all, uh, let me call him out for using the name of God in vain. That is very wrong. But God himself will deal with you on that. Uh, another thing is uh, you will see how he was treating his fellow Americans, you know, these are people, when somebody entrusts you with business, if I give you my money, I expect you to treat me with integrity, I, I mean, uh, civilly, he's treating them, abusing them, you know, you may not afford these packages now, and remember, he's selling this land while he's in America, imagine, so how do you sell Kenyan land, and you're in America, and he's forcing them to put down deposits? telling whoever doesn't afford now you know it's okay you can do it whatever but right now i only have five slots what are you selling have you subdivided this land do they have kenyan attorneys holding their portions of the land are they planning to get citizenship or are they just holding it what, what what's it you know all you're doing is you're using the fact that i had land for you to start selling put down your deposits the way he's even selling imagine the the wifey preparing uh paperwork and he's over here harassing them the way he's treating them and then to see some of them just they can't see that they just be leaking <laughs> be leaking him following him oh but he's a legend oh legendary failure that is the word and it's so unfortunate but this is the predicament that he put you guys and it's good that there's Russians African Americans and those ones I want to associate with them but this other caliber <laughs> I don't even I have no words for you except that I mean uh, I don't know what you live for I don't know but you deserve him you actually deserve jd because probably you see yourselves in him he is the absolute mentor because you are potential and future scammers so continue thriving in your cocoons and wutan clans and small groups be for the men be a man be a man be the alpha be the king and for the ladies and the queens how can you be blindly following somebody who just has a Wi-Fi and a camera and bigger figure? No, this is a child who has never evolved. He's abusing you and you're giving him your money. He's talking about, I'm jealous. jealous of, you can only be jealous of somebody who probably you know. I don't know you. Other than the advocate-client relationship that we had, the retainment uh, uh, relationship we had, I do not know you. 
enough to be jealous she's jealous because of making more money you know i can't talk about my money but all i'm saying jealous of what you have feminine undertones why are you fighting somebody who is almost one and a half decade younger than you i don't want to put up the feminine card but and your age mates right now working on their retirement what are you doing going back and forth with educated intelligent rashas young atoni something you could never be in a thousand years you and your scammer spouse would never be me in this lifetime but all i can tell you is you can still change all i'm asking for is for god to grant you a long life so you can think about everything you've done change for the better you're attacking somebody who all i they ever did was help you for me to tell you this time you cannot buy this property in your name it can be held by a kenyan citizen i was helping you because that is the truth that is the law i stand by it for the record that i'm saying for the record you cannot have it in your name so all those purported attorneys you met are half baked and are not uh, 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 experts in the fields that okay you know you can be a criminal attorney and you don't know anything about conveyancing and and land laws commercial transactions mergers acquisitions immigration anything like that if you do not know like i told you guys last time the stuff that i'm not well versant or conversant with i have to you know get a, a, a colleagues who have uh, specialized in those areas but you cannot get an attorney just because they want some money there yeah you can have it in your name in film africa you cannot have a company called film africa and i kept telling him there's conversation we on record where i'm telling him whoever is purporting to tell you this is just also obtaining money from you and you're happy with them because they're telling you what you want to hear you see i'm that kind of attorney who you'll be mad at because i'll not tell you everything you want to know but i'll keep you out of trouble because you being put on a title after the promulgation of the constitution and you're a foreign resident or a foreigner who is just like a tourist and you are on a list of frequent title because there's um, scrupulous people you know they collude with the land registries and whatever that's why you see the courts now are lifting their hands up and saying due diligence the standard must be extremely high 1000% not 100% so it doesn't mean if i come over here and flash a title deed that it is valid no official search historical uh, uh, requisitions make those questions conduct due diligence go to the property bring us some bear look at the beacons demarcations who owned this property before this current owner and the person before that and the other one get all that information get the acreage go to the survey um uh, a, a department go and buy a map a map is only 20 kenyan shillings 20 kenyan shillings yeah but if you want it immediately you will have to facilitate something small but you can apply it's 20 shillings i don't know if it's 100 right now i don't know i usually send um my staff all right get the map certified map don't just get a map because it's a map and it has the Nairobi area or whatever area you are in get the one that is satisfied certified that is the true map you can get a map that someone has doctored to change the measurements because you are supposed to make sure the measurements on the ground are the same as the measurements on the map and this is found at the survey department you know there's a director of surveys for each district nowadays their counties and these those offices these are government offices you understand get a survey do all this cheap is very expensive you may say, oh let me just buy it i don't want an attorney let, let my driver do it for me you will be surprised when you've already erected a house or a bungalow or whatever there five ten years down the line you're told you know what this land was illegally acquired this title is not good you know concepts of defeasibility and indefeasibility so you need to get if you're buying land 
get a convincing expert. Don't just get an attorney because I'm an attorney of the High Court of Kenya. No, they may be a family lawyer and they do not know anything. So they okay, you are foreign or fine. Do they know everything regarding that? Are they on the ground? Do they handle these uh transactions practically? Have you done any transfers? Do people have land actually and you facilitated those transactions? Because some attorneys are just criminal practitioners, others are just family lawyers or whatever. So you don't know if they are they may have put that on their website. That's why don't just look at whatever you're seeing and yeah that's it this is a good attorney no and they have reputations out here there's attorneys they'll tell you they take clients money and they take off you know imagine if i was those bad people i would have taken off we won't even be talking about this title i don't know transferring me replacing a title when it's lying it's lost but why would for what purpose you see and and, and criminals they they really want to be the rashest people so that's why they get obsessed like this obsession is not anything sexual or anything like that but it has to be me so bad or he sees that <laughs> anyway i don't want to go there let's uh proceed to the next <laughs> yeah the, the next two are going to be very short so let's go the certificate that come with the land is still a thousand but the land by itself costs a thousand for a thousand square feet already but I just wanted to put it together the trap links with the land sheet to give some people opportunity to have a trap links certificate. What do you say yeah. about that certificate? Lies, 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 lies. It's illegal. <laughs> Certificates are in leaseholds. That's why they are called certificates of title or certificate of lease, depending different areas. Like I told you, municipalities and towns. Agricultural land is in the villages and it's freehold and not everywhere. There are places in Kiambu and that that are right now have been converted so there's a conversion right now they're trying to digitalize uh, records uh nairobi that is happening they're trying to upload them to uh um to to the lands um it's called um uh forgetting this name it's called uh ardi sasa ardi is land in uh, swahili so they're trying to do that you know maybe it will help curb these thieves and whatever but you still know that in every jurisdiction there's still going to be thieves so get an att- at least get legal advice get legal advice and you'll be okay you'll be protected you may think oh it's expensive it may be expensive now but when your land appreciates and you have a whole house there and you're being told to, have you seen some of the demolitions at the coast imagine somebody has invested in a billion dollar or in a billion uh, shilling uh, hotel and then eventually you know there's the court case you know this and that and then there's a recent landmark case the supreme court recently robustly pronounced itself i'll talk about it another day because of uh, time constraints okay. i'll you know, tell you there's another day all right can you react yeah i've never seen actually certificates been uh, offered when you are buying land I, what i know is uh, allotment letters what I'm afraid yeah. with the uh, with the freehold is allotment letters you only get allotment letters for land that you have bought and actually it's not from your own office your own company or or your own formation that you're giving in just documents to show that you've purchased land but it has been registered by the lock uh, by the land registry office so because that le- makes it legal binding but what JT talked is just like he made his own certificate yeah. uh, in the house and he's issuing. So uh, that is synonymous with somebody who is on a, on a way to a scam. Yeah, I've never heard of a trap flicks uh, certificate before. This is a first, but let's go. Okay, put on. And I just rolled away. Okay, cool. Buy me some more shit. Let me pay for some more water. Shout out to the family that sent 10000 to help pay for the water well. Not sent. He gave it to me in my hand like, huh, JT? Put that on the water well. They are here, probably still right now. Shout out to him, his wife, their daughter. All right. He, 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 so he picked the money. Uh, listen, I have express instructions, and uh, <laughs> let me talk about this. It's gonna take like five minutes or so. Shout out to the man who gave me ten thousand dollars for this, this, and that. Do you remember the video he uploaded and that's why we needed it at the end so that the explanation is very clear and precise this man is my client 
servant of God in the church. That's the name I can use. I can't use other names for reasons that's, you know, well known to you guys. That was him and his wife. They had just landed a day before, a couple of hours before, and I told them I was kind of busy. I couldn't see them. So when I was done with court, I proceeded to the safari hotel, safari park. So when I got there, of course, we'd already had these conversations while they were still in America. I actually processed their visas, him, his wife, and the children, very Russia's uh, people. So they got here. Do you know you cannot fly with more than, I know in Kenya is like one million, is, you, know, you can't go with one million, it must be nine, 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 whatever. So you cannot fly out here with more than $10,000, understand? So they only flew in $9,000 in cash. And that is the entire money they gave to JT in the video he uploaded and intentionally edited, leaving out the part where we are talking about what these funds are meant for. He he put um, some uh, uh, subtitles saying, Marcy caught on camera, <laughs> helping me scam, helping me steal helping me sell the land to this man who sued me you understand this family contacted me while they were still in america because they also had intentions of coming to africa their business of buying land with jt that was their business you will soon discover that it had not i did they didn't even tell me i only knew about it when they had already paid everything and they were in this country so when i came there they were in the hotel they had paid for a villa JT apparently had advertised for villas on his YouTube. Remember, I was the one in charge of handling his lease. Contacted their landlord. Once he realized this is the whatever he wanted when the realtors showed him, he just told me that is what I need. I'm an attorney. I don't go checking out houses. So once he told me this is what I want or whatever, I reached out to the landlord. I got the contacts of the landlord who uh, actually uh, directed me to their attorneys. The attorneys called me and they sent me the advanced copy of the list via email to go through and maybe point out uh, amendments, you know, with track changes, you know, the way we normally do. So I checked it out. I inserted his name, his passport number, and I was the care of person. Usually most of these serious landlords want you to have a Kenyan representative because for a foreigner, they can just up and leave midway. You know, anything can happen to them. So basically I was representing him. And I'll come to that because there was that screenshot that I want to talk about for what he posted on his uh, 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 page. So I was the one handling his lease. And like I told you, I used to pay his rent every month because remember JT does not have an account. He does not have an alien ID. A work permit, therefore he doesn't have an alien ID and a KRA PIN certificate. So he does not have a Kenyan account. If you come out here, any of you, go to any bank and say, I want an account. They'll tell you the documents to provide, which is an alien ID and a KRA PIN certificate. And you cannot get an alien ID if you don't have a work permit. You understand? So that's how I was able to be receiving money from his wife to settle his bills, as I said previously. He purports to advertise. I wasn't, I, knew, I didn't know about him and YouTube at, at all. When I, I met JT, I knew he was a, he was a rapper. This shenanigans about land came way later and I was shocked. My clients, while in America, we were only talking about why they wanted to come to America and when they were coming and what they needed and retainment. We agreed on all those things when they were still there. So I, I remember I did not have any relationship to the Burkina Faso land that JT had apparently sold. I didn't even know JT had a channel. So it was all about them coming. So I processed their visas for this very lovely family. They came out here. So then I, uh, of course they were in the hotel. Where else was I gonna meet them? So when I was done with court, I think they were like, please come because I think one of the children was not feeling, was feeling under the weather. So I said, okay, I can actually sacrifice and get to the hotel, remember, it was during COVID, so we used to have uh, curfews and, you know, lockdowns or whatever. So I was trying to be there early before 7. By then we used to have a lockdown from 7, like there's a curfew. You can't be out, you know, but for lawyers, we had those uh, whatever to move around, you know. So when I came there, 
So we are talking business, you know, your retainment and stuff like that. You know, we are just pass one to what we had agreed before, in furtherance of what we had agreed. And then they tell me, okay, then now we are here, but we are supposed to be heading to a villa. I said, a villa? They said, yeah. What villa? They said, we have, uh, they showed me evidence of email conversations between uh, them and Tisha regarding some advert JT had done about uh, some Garden City villas. I don't want to go into details anyway. So I'm like, no, I, this I have no idea because I was like, what? But for JT's lease, I'm the one in charge of that lease. So how is he purporting to offer his fellow foreigners a lease when he cannot and those villas, you you cannot, they have attorneys. You cannot as a foreigner directly deal with them. They need somebody, a representative. You know, so you need to like get an attorney or at least a Kenyan representative who they can put the contact in the lease. You understand? So I'm like calling JT and he's not coming. <clears throat> I'm getting groceries. I'm just, he's just being evasive and I'm like, what? So I, I sensed I sensed something. But then JT was my client and these ones were getting to be my clients as well. So they're like, okay, so the contract, da, 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 we finalize everything. But then I can't just leave them here because the hotels also had a limit for how many days you can be there because of COVID. These are new, these are foreigners. They have never been in Africa. All right. They have servant of God. I can see you in the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. So you can imagine they've never been in Africa before. And he's, he's here. He's here in the chat. He'll confirm everything. Servants of God, don't forget to say anything you want to say or whatever as an independent person and client so i'm like what avila so i can't just leave them there so i'm over here calling jt he's not picking i'm like i'm here with this family who had contacted me while there and and they are retaining my services and i can't just leave them here you took their money for avila and you have not even said anything he's hiding out in his house do you know i was there <laughs> for a very long time waiting for this man i'm gonna go get a haircut i'm gonna go get groceries eventually i was like you need to get here this is a game they called tisha tisha was like, he's not there so then he came coming there he changed yeah 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 you know you can hire mercy they're like no we already had this conversation with mercy she's actually the one who got us here you know she processed our visas you know it's just not parents it's parents and children you understand all of them are in this jurisdiction and you know so he does not want me to know about land or whatever but then servant of god is like no we have we have purchased land from jt in Burkina faso and then he said brother you can see the video when we started hi my name is so and so i'm here with my wife you know that me i'm just there mm -hmm. you know i'm just you know nodding i do not know about Burkina faso land and then i knew they had actually paid for land a whole acre, 20,000 USD. And then he was like, transfer to Kenya. No, 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 no. So this guy gave him the $9,000 for a water well on Kenyan land, not the land that I was holding. Because he was purporting to buy, remember he had put it on his YouTube, now I knew because they had that record. I didn't know. I didn't even know JT had a channel. <laughs> Imagine at that point, I didn't even know he was a YouTuber. I knew he was a rapper, you know, and stuff like that. that is what he told me. He misrepresented or represented. So they're like, brother, you know, helping each other, talking about God. You know, it was a very good conversation. I was like, thank God. At least these clients of mine get to meet others. So all I have to do is also make sure they meet the other clients that are already here. Usually I'm like, yeah, can you talk to them? The Americans that are here, no. We do three ways. You know, whoever wants to meet the other, they'll say Whoever wants to do three ways, we do three ways, you know. You're out here all alone. So it's nice if I get, you know, if my clients get to talk, this is another American, I feel good because they usually feel safe with fellow Americans. They gave him $9,000 in cash. This is a donation for the water well for, for Kenyans. Thank you, my brother. God's plan, Abraham. He said so many things. Daddy, God will punish you. God in heaven will punish you. I don't know who you worship to, but they gave you with a very good heart and humble heart. They also gifted him a sweater. There's a video he made. Yeah, they gave me this. With a lion. Thank you, my brother. I was so happy. You understand? Everybody left. He left. 
I left. I called my driver. He was just within the hotel. I left. They were there. So we were like, okay. I was like, JT. These clowns are telling me that they sent money for a villa two weeks ago. You were communicating with Americans and offering them leases and Airbnb or whatever. I didn't even know he had a channel. So he was talking to others. With that is his business. I don't want to get involved. However, these clients had retained me. We, we had already signed the contract and whatever. So I was like, I can't just leave them here and just go. So where is the money? What villas are you talking about? Yeah, the Garden City. So I'm like, where? Because I actually didn't even know the specific place. And it was just something he went, did videos, and then started collecting money, advertising. You, two, they're here, stranded in the hotel. <laughs> where do they go? Do they get on a plane and go back to America? There's children here. The weather is something they have not even experienced. So anyway, I was like, you know what? Let me let me offer a solution. Uh, so where's the money? Definitely the money has to be sent by wifey. Those funds were sent to my account. I told her, forward the... It's a lot of money, by the way. <laughs> a lot, it was a lot of money. For two months rent and one deposit, that was 6500 so her sending money used to take 48 hours because of the jurisdictions and different banks. So I told them, imagine there's nothing you can do. But the hotel had already told them, you cannot stay for more than two days because of COVID. You have to change, go to another hotel and then come back again. You're out here, you don't know anyone other than you are Tony and this person you had spoken to and done a lot of business with. I didn't know, so I wasn't representing them then. So I hadn't even known anything about that. I just learned it about it there. He took the money real fast and put it in the jumper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did a video. We categorically told him, <laughs> we do not like getting filmed. This is mercy. This is, I don't know what. This is, you know, do not do anything jeopardizing. And I was like, the fact that he's recording funds in cash, because we cannot, there's no other way we can prove that he's done this, it's okay. But I came to find find out, imagine the, the video he put up, these people gave you their money. How do you go and start abusing them? I mean, you can abuse me, but why Why would you abuse somebody who was actually helped? $9,000 is a lot of money for someone to just give you. Brother, do this, this and that. And that was for a water well. For Kenyans, on a different parcel of land, he'd lied to them that he has another different parcel of land. <laughs> so I'm just finding out all this information. So anyway, Tisha sent the money. Me and this man, I think I came back the following day. We went afresh, started looking for an apartment. We found that one was a show house. Whatever they paid for was the show house. And it was actually going to be on sale. Some some British uh, guy had put in a deposit, but it was a show house for this other. We had to get them secured, contacting the lawyers, you know, whatever. It took some time. So they had to stay there, pay extra to the hotel so that they cannot be kicked out or whatever because now other hotels were also getting it was crazy during covid in fact for foreigners you're coming out anybody who would come in with a plane you are alienated they have covid so somebody is talking to you but they are very far and they have their three masks because you came from the airport you know that was what was happening around the world everywhere so anyway that was that and so when i saw him take a job at people on something that was actually so good i was like this is beyond redemption honestly and i'm gonna you know talk about this because he's edited it uh, edited the parts where it talks about what the money is for it's like mercy help me said that no brother they send you money for their land in Burkina Faso. conversations that had nothing to do with me and uh, um servant of god is in the chat he is that individual and he can confirm in the charts i can't see it now because you know, I'm basically doing this, but I'm sure he's gonna tell you guys what that money was for, and if they I, I ever received any money for their land. I didn't even know about it. These were conversations they had with JT and Tisha, and then they received those funds in Monetary Digitals LLC in America. Those funds were wired in an American. But why do you think they are suing in America? Would they be suing in America if those funds were sent to Mercy in Kenya? I invite you to engage your brains, JT's, minions. Think. At the very least, think. Why would a, 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 an American court agree to a lawsuit for funds that have been wired in Kenya? 
by Americans. These are fellow Americans suing each other in a in a in a in a in a in a, in a, in a court in America. The most I can only be is a witness. You understand? So I mean, trying to take a video, edit, and talking about that, da, come, da, da, da. brother, brother, <laughs> brother JT, <laughs> you need Jesus, <laughs> you are lost. So anyway, what else did I want to say? There's something I wanted to add. Yes, they gave him for one, uh, 20,000 USD for one acre in Burkina Faso, fan sent to Tisha. The 20,000, he did a screenshot of a photo of me, of the email when I was acknowledging 20,000. So how was this land we are talking about bought? Those are three acres, three and a half acres. Like I told you, you'll see, um, well, we hid the account details because of Kung Fu told me I can't put stuff like that because his channel can also be struck down because you can't put account details in. Well, it's stuff illegal. Like that. It's illegal. Yeah, it's very legal. That's the only reason why. So that 20,000 was going towards his list. And you can clearly see, that's why I'm inviting his followers to read, read and understand. I'm sure you have some sort of education. Even if it's just remotely elementary, I am be do hereby uh, uh, confirm that this twenty thousand is going towards his lease. Resi I, I said residential uh, apartments and purchase of the land. And in that email, did you see any mention of any third party to hold for Americans? Da 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 da. No, his residential apartment and the purchase of the land that I was purchasing on his behalf, which he just did from a video that was played before. Him saying, I wouldn't let that man. You see, oh, servant of God, thank you. He said we paid money through mandatory digital before we traveled to Kenya. Thank you so much, sir. May God bless you. You know, he's like, we look at these things and we just laugh. Imagine, imagine if I didn't have any evidence. Think about it. Imagine if I didn't have any receipt. This man does not care. He would bury you in an instant. I helped him. I did my best. But he wants to bury. Imagine if I didn't have any evidence on me. So, JT, the truth always prevails, no matter how long it is. You can do your videos, you can do whatever. Servant of God is here. He is the man in the video. And another thing I want to call you out on. What has his wife uh, done to you? That lady wasn't saying anything. Hey, sis. She was quite, she didn't, other than her name, she didn't do anything. Why are you putting her out there like that? Why, why are you acting like a child? You know you can attack the attorney. Why are you going to people who... And that was a blessing by JT. You you just shit on those blessings. I don't know. You, you have children, you know. You know that your actions will actually reflect on how they are going to be. Like, servant of God is over here right now, clearing my name. He doesn't need to. But he is, because he's a Russian person, he's a Russian man. He paid that money in America. This was a donation. And now you're lying. Mercy is here, caught on camera. Because you're sensationalizing on YouTube. Because you're dumb uh, minions. Because I can't say everybody, because his minions are the only ones who are dumb. Some of his followers are actually just following, like, you know, like getting the evidence, whatever, because he scammed most of these people. His minions don't think whatever uh whatever master jt says it's like they're used to following somebody their followers they cannot stand up for themselves you men you are an embarrassment <laughs> shamelessly following this man who abuses you takes you for a ride talking about she's here helping me the man in question is here in the charts clearing my name and he's an American and an African American. <laughs> Imagine he, he he would right now be defending JT. But he's been done wrong. I'm here right now in this chat with Kenyan uh, reaction who I met recently and then Kung Fu who's actually a Muzungu. Like other than just well of course some of his attorneys, former attorneys who are actually ready to come on board and you know, I told you my name out here is very good. Imagine if I didn't have any receipts. Imagine. She stole from me 20,000. 20, what the hell is that? Dude, <laughs> 20, 000, would I risk everything for 20K? Are you serious right now? This man has been here three years thriving. And I'm proud to say 
he is thriving under MB law which is my law for Massey Baraza and company advocates and he'll continue thriving and in due time you will see together with my other clients I don't want them feeling left out because I have a couple of clients out here different nationalities I think I I not I can't start a channel but I'll probably encourage some of them to show whatever they are doing just because people are doing things quietly doesn't mean they're not doing anything we are not all the same that people who want to put things out the people who don't want to put things out and I want to thank you for standing by me because somebody would be like no I'm an american let's bury her you see the hatred the people who make, is are the scammers they bring this out you 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 are unleashing me to americans so they can have anger first of all i don't give a damn whoever wants to have anger gets i don't care but i'm a righteous person enough to come and address it in the sense that i know that there's very good african americans out here and that is why i'm doing this for them otherwise I'll just be like you know what because I don't owe anyone an explanation the only explanation I owe is the court you know if there's anything that has been brought against me why are you lying JT why are you lying don't you get tired and the man is here to prove you lied you and that's why he's in court if he did not have a case if there was no cause of action the court would not have accepted the documents the reason we have this delays is because he's been running i cannot talk much He's on the run. Jetty, that's a very difficult life to live. Every day you are running. You can see him in the vans, always making videos in the van. Running around, sleeping in vans. It's a very difficult life. Making sure he's not served with any court documents. You cannot defeat justice. Like I said, the wheels of justice grind and bay slowly. They grind regardless. Justice will be done and it will also be seen to be done. So, it's only a matter of time. You may be thriving right now with your minions, having a feel Why what did that lady do to you? This man's wife did nothing to you. She didn't say anything to you. She's never said anything to you. Why are you going after her abusing us, abusing their children? You have children and I would never abuse I would never even sit anywhere close to somebody talking crazy about children are innocent. Those children don't know. They don't know their dad is a scammer. JT you are a scammer and this is a, a, an injustice to your children. Why are you talking about another man's bread? Why are you pressed over it? You you sounding like a female Why are you pressed over somebody's wife and children is it if them every if that family ever but didn't you just tell them shout out to the family their daughter their their son their whatever so you keep flip flopping is it long term drug use are you should you be checked into a mental hospital i mean you don't you see that this is crazy i want you to go through all these videos when you're sober and then go through the reactions and everything and then think about it do you honestly think you're on the right path of life no one is perfect but brother brother jt you are headed to self destruction and it's so sad because you have a very lovely family very lovely children and it's so sad that you can't for their sake do the right thing stop putting somebody's wife and children in business you have a beef with the with the man and me So why are you bringing in their family? Be man enough. Be man and I would never call out. In fact, I've never called your wife her name out of her name. No, but I say she's a scammer, which is true. She's the mastermind, which is true. Didn't you also just say she does the paperwork? Wasn't she the one communicating with my clients? Has she ever reached out to find out if they ever got the land they sent her money for because that money was sent in mandatory digital LLC in America? She never reached out to them. She never picked calls. She never did it for this man to go to court. He tried done all those things. I can say this because I'm in Kenya. He cannot say anything. Not now. His attorney cannot say anything not now, but I'm responding to you as a Kenyan who was your attorney, former attorney and as I told you. Our attorney client privilege was waived. Why? Because you, my brother, do not know that that duty i had to you as a client to not disclose anything confidential or privileged is not absolute it is not absolute because the crafters of the law know that criminals exist and when criminal exi- criminals exist they have to put in these uh, uh, waivers and exceptions this duty 
has both constitutional and statutory qualifications. You understand? So I can be I can disclose on my own volition or I can be compelled to disclose by a court of law any confidential or privileged information in certain instances so that we can fulfill the interests of justice and fairness and in this case justice and fairness is you have done great uh, injustice to these people and it's so sad because i don't know you'll deal with it legally and also maybe spiritually i don't know all i can tell you is i cannot remain confidential and another thing i wanted to tell you hmm? when i was quoting section 134 and 136 yesterday i was it yesterday or i don't know i can't remember this ago. protect yeah this protection pass one through the section 134 and 136 of the evidence act cap 80 laws of kenya please get them right i know the subtitles can actually misinterpret <laughs> this communication protection given by this subsection it continues even after the retainer of the advocate has ceased just because i'm i'm not your advocate in kenya we call them, we call ourselves advocates attorney is in america here is usually advocate is somebody who's been admitted to the bar a lawyer may be somebody who's still pursuing the legal uh, profession like going to school still the moment you start doing an llb you know you are a lawyer but you only become an advocate slash attorney when you have uh you're merited and you have been admitted to the bar so this protection given by this section and protected under section 134 and 136 read together of the evidence act cap 80 laws of kenya and this protection proceeds on even when the retainment has been terminated when it's over because you are involved in criminal activities i cannot just be like no i can't say anything because of advocate confidentiality no the crafters of law knew that people like you exist so they had to check you real quick good job to the crafters of these laws and i'm guided by these sections and that's why i'm putting this out because you are putting out a very false narrative In fact, don't deal with them, deal with me. Why are you afraid of dealing with me? Why are you trying to strike this channel down? Why are you sending your minions with my photos, creating accounts, running to Facebook there? Chola damn. Like really get a book, read something, understand simple contract law, uh Cap 23 laws of Kenya. Get something from Kenya. You can call your friends and get something and read and understand. Do not display ignorance as you worship your master are you guys so blind that you cannot see this somebody imagine if i didn't have receipts imagine if i didn't have clients imagine and we have a very good relationship look at client relationship the entire family i see a lot of y'all texting me right now when these 17 traffic tickets did you see how many traffic tickets i saw did i tell you Well, I don't got to do nothing. Nigga, ain't nobody selling no shares of nothing that come with land. There is nobody else that got land backing up their shares, man. And I'm going to post the phone number to Daniel again so you can call Daniel. He lives next door. Tell me. His land is about 4 or 5 acres for his family. The man who sold me his land, they was trying to move to another country. So they sold me their land, which was next door to Daniel's land. Daniel had the plug with the chief. I wasn't buying that land from that man without talking to the chief and the elders of the community first. When they gave me permission, that's when I made the payment. I made the payment through my lawyer. I put the land in my lawyer name. We transferred the ownership of the land to build more Africa estates. Cuz I couldn't buy the land in my name. Nigga, I got to do 7 years. Nigga. I still got 5 more years right now to do in Kenya before I get my my passport and citizenship. But they got a new president coming this year. When his staff come into play. Money talk. 
in bullshit war. Man, I should have to wait no five more years to get my citizenship. Man, I need my citizenship when the new president come in. Hello. Shout out to all my immigration people that tell me what I should do. Sorry about that. I need- uh, he needs to leave the immigration people out, leave the president out of this. They don't know you. You are out here perpetrating uh, 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 bribes and whatever, talking about uh, leave this, do that, leave the immigration people out. There's no then immigration officer who will go on record telling you that, you know, do this and that, because I do not want to participate in a, a video where he's trying to say things like those in this republic. This is a peace-loving, law-abiding, you know, situation, republic, and whatever business he has with whoever he has behind the scenes that has nothing to do with any of this. Respect the immigration department, respect the director of immigration, and respect the president of this republic. I may not, he may not be my president, but he's the president of Kenya. So put some respect on their names. Okay. We're going to head to the next one. Yeah. The certificate come with 10 years. See, I'm only doing this right now as a limited, limited time only. All that, like people want to buy shares and all that, like a hundred, they start at a hundred. The people who bought their shares in 2019, they bought them when it was five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, thirty dollars. See, the, 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 the price just keep going up based upon the closer we get to being done. Cause once we done, these prices is out the window. So I just want to make this live because I got a lot of y'all texting me, asking him the questions and shit, and that's cool. But pay attention to my last live. I said everything. And let me say this for the record. If you American, you cannot own land in Africa. Unless you put your paperwork in for citizenship. That's number one. But some people might not ever want to be a citizen. The other way, you gotta have an African and put it in their name. I put it in my lawyer name. That way, all my shit legal. Because now there's another lawyer that we had to do agreement with to put it up under my trap lease trust, Fillmore Africa Trust. That you can have over there. But to purchase the land, you gotta purchase it with somebody. And then you transfer it with a legal document into your trust, which is still more Africa trap leaks. Hello. See, I went over there and learned the way to do it. It's either that or you don't have no land. Everybody got different laws, especially for them cheap ass prices. That's why they like, man, we can't give all this shit to, to the Yeah, he said a lot. You can clearly see if you're propping. He he throws in a little truth. You know, of course, courtesy of me, and then he mixes it with lies. As Kama will do that, he'll yeah. tell you a half truth and, and something else to suit themselves because he's telling them, okay, he was wrong on saying you can't own land in Africa. Foreigners can own land in Africa, but on leasehold tenure only. Freehold, no. Unless, you know, whatever I told you, I don't want to keep talking about it. Uh, what else did he say? Talking about traffic shares, feel more estates, that, that, those are rumors. Ignore. What else? Talking about. Uh, transferred from i don't know another lawyer trust traffic trust no that is when i i was like no you can't do this you know and then he i was like you need to find another attorney you guys will see so then he found another attorney so this attorney i think was not well versed in conversing he told him he can put it in his company filmo filmo can only be registered as filmo limited or filmo something but you cannot say filmo filmo africa you can't remove the word africa and then once if he's part of that film it cannot own a uh, freehold because he's a foreigner so it means his attorney was also going to be the only one on the film or limited you understand so there's no way around it whoever he met if at all it was an attorney shame on you counsel you need to get your facts right get your law right read and call me or call the experts but i'm very sure that's just jt with his karma mentality i don't think well, I can't say there are attorneys who can do this, but that's just him. That's just him. But we were not working together. We were arguing, so he found somebody else. But then saying you can't buy this, but then putting in trust because he needed to collect the money. The the, the intention was to collect the, your deposits. It was nothing to do with legality or whatnot. He was afraid. So anyway, 
that's it for me okay can you reactor anything that is looking good you should have to think twice yeah that was the one where he was getting out of the uh the airplane at uh at the nairobi airport oh, nothing much yeah. to react to i guess unless you have something you want to add to that Oh, well, all I can just clarify is, remember all the other videos, he was selling this land, receiving deposits from people when he's still in, when he's still in America. So mm. meaning, you guys were, I don't know what you're buying, so you cannot start, I don't know, he was in America, now he's back. So remember, anything you sent while he was still there is vested in that jurisdiction. If you send funds through the bank, you have to sue through an American bank or whatever, but you can also link up because in criminal liability here, whatever you're doing just does not limit somebody to the jurisdiction or a criminal offense because, you know, I can't talk about, you know, you know, whatever is going on. That's but you can, you can clearly see he was selling land when he's still in America to Americans land in Kenya and giving out in driver's number so now he's coming back all right all those videos were made when he was still in america when i think they are short because the longer ones he was always talking about where he's at and filming i'm here in san francisco i'm here in atlanta i'm here wherever but then he was still purporting to sell them so this is a scammer if you cannot see this i don't know i mean we need not belabor this I'm going to post the number to Daniel again for the land ownership part of the trafficking certificate so you can call Daniel and schedule what time are you going or when are you going to Africa to pick where you want your land at. The land is open. First come, first serve. You want to be at the front of the land and you drive in. You want to be at the back of the land. Where the water well at? I got the middle part of the land. I'm in the middle. I don't care what y'all do in the front, and I don't care what y'all do in the back. That's what you do when you buy land. All right, let me give y'all the game real quick for all my acres. Yes, I bought an acre, one acre, two acres, three acres, four acres, five acres, six acres. How many square feet is in the acre, JT? 43,000 and some change. That's how many square feet is in the acre. So you mean to tell me you're making $43,000 off an acre, you motherfucking right. Now, if you want your own acre, go to Africa and buy your own acre. Yeah, you go buy your own. Oh, JT, you making too much money. Somebody text me a message and say, I'm making too much money. Motherfucker, do you think I give a shit about what you're talking about? Okay, so you know, before you two um, <laughs> react to that one, I want to tell everybody that's interested, you know, in the States that's interested in purchasing land. Um, you may be watching people like uh, Search of Uhuru or Quasi Boyd or a few other uh, characters that are basically saying the same thing. They're in different countries, by the way, but they're saying the same thing basically as JT. Don't send your money over the internet. And, and Mercy, me and you talked uh, before we started about sending money over the internet into Kenya. Uh, if you could touch on that with your own reaction on what you were gonna say anyway, that'd be great. Thank you. Yeah, well, okay. Um, first of all, uh... You know, when you just send somebody you've never met money through their account, those funds, first of all, may be flagged you know, for maybe being uh, proceeds of uh, corruption or money laundering or something like that. Again, it's strongly advised that you do not send funds to somebody you do not know because you're sending these funds online. What if this is a robot you're, talk you're talking to? You know, you've not seen the land, you've not done any due diligence, you do not know whatever you're purchasing, you're supposed to at least be on the ground. Get a reputable, um, uh, get a reputable attorney. Not, don't, not, not just any attorney, 
understand because i'm not going to tell you over here that anybody who's been duly admitted to the bar is reputable all right get a reputable attorney but i advised against wearing fans uh, uh electronic do not purchase something electronically unless you have like contracts and stuff like that do not do not because there's so many scammers right now out to dupe you they're taking advantage of 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 of, of people's uh, um uh you know uh, anxiety out there you know somebody wants to come out here of, of course they they are tapping into that you know he, like in his case he brought out all his family remember he said i'll never go back to america you know he said america is bad da, 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 da. he's back there talking down on africa talking about i, I don't want to be there with no money i'll come back you know i don't want to be there you know like whoever doing whatever you, no toilets you know i don't have money there and he was just here talking about the way the air is fresh and everything like that so i i advise strongly against sending funds like like that but if you must send wire the funds through a bank do not do a go fund me do not wire funds through cash up or um what is it called uh, for donations you can do that but for for purchase of property if you must and i've advised against all right if you must then if there's a paper trail there's bank wire transfer that way you are able to prove even in the court of law because you cannot delete such information this individual can be uh, apprehended you know and charged in a court of law because you can clearly see the evidence but with a uh, cash up or whatever remember this individual was collecting money through his son's cash up if you can see i think up to now in his pages i don't know if they are still there it was cash up jelani something i looked at the the video the the, the screen recording that i've received it shows even the cash up is not in his own name it's in it is in his son's name please exercise uh uh, uh um uh, constraints kindly do your due diligence do not just send the funds you know and these scammers are taking advantage of that they know you they, they know your deep fears they know your deep uh pleasures they know all your desires i desire to go in africa and do this and that live a happy life live in the village live in the city i want to go to the motherland these scammers are taking advantage of the motherland so they are duping you guys so please 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 do not wire funds and if you must then do it through a bank that way it can be proven and he can be asked to answer as to why he was authorizing transfer of funds to himself had he done this business right it would have turned out well when he realized this is the mistake instead of fighting me and starting to abuse me every day on youtube talking about yeah they told me i couldn't have put in her name all he had to do was do the right thing because i told him you're doing this you can't do this why don't you since you can afford do it the right way you will have to have this american have uh, the kenyan appointed representative to hold it for them and quietly you guys would be thriving he cost you that it's all for him talking about people like that. nobody is jealous about you you or over anything you, you it, it's in your head you know your demons are chasing you telling you somebody nobody actually nobody even cares about you like that in that way like someone is pressed over you no no no, no. you are an issue in consequential so that was outright duping people who sent through go find me i don't know what you can do and uh, you know however they sent him those ones i don't know you know but all you have to do is if you have that evidence you can, it can still be used in court but if you must and i advise against do not purchase something you have not seen do not purchase something you do not have uh like the documents due diligence someone can show you like uh jt what they were doing was they he was flashing shiny certificates that at the comfort of their house his spouse would prepare them all they needed was your name on the passport you know that is what is done there's a place called river road here in kenya where people uh manufacture fake alcohol uh, fake you know this alcohol that has formalin and stuff like you know people get counterfeit things so with titles that is what happens you know and people even collude so you cannot purchase something you do not know the history of there's no due diligence and stuff like that and somebody who's asking you to send money through a donation and it's a purchase of land clearly is a scammer somebody who's asking you to send funds through um 
go find me that does not even is not registered in his, in his name in his son how do you start following the son what if the son is a minor you know when when you're suing him <laughs> it's very complicated please 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 let it this be a warning also to scammers with this mentality we have outed one of you the ring leader and several others uh, i didn't even know oh my god i've gone through this youtube uh, channels and i'm shocked because that's what they're doing that that is how they're thriving and you're spoiling the name of african americans because imagine the kenyans that are seeing this all other african people that are seeing this it's going to get to a point where they'll say we can't have african americans in kenya do you know that instead of being brothers and sisters you guys are going to be alienated because of a few individuals who are spoiling your name in fact right now i cannot lie to you guys right now personally i'm not even dealing with you guys like that i have to really find out what kind of person this is because there's so many uh, uh wolves in sheep sheep clothes clothing they come with rice and the unga and whatever hi and then boop they attack <laughs> they attack imagine if i did have receipts so be very very careful this few african americans that are spoiling your name you need to stop them because it's going to get to a point we will close our borders and i'm not lying to you it is very bad behavior this ag ag aggression and theft and coming and not taking accountability you want to bury somebody down you are already talking remember there's videos of you admitting who is who who is holding what who sold you what you only bought it through your lawyer and those fans you put a screenshot i'm using all your screenshots to respond so i'm responding to that so whatever you send have a response you know so like rebuttals rejoinder so be very careful be very careful because you're digging a some a hole that you, you do you are you even are you even aware of what you're doing right now you have exposed yourself imagine i was just quiet we were dealing with this thing quietly in the appropriate forums but you cannot just because you've been uh, sued in america by your fellow american doesn't mean i cannot take you down like show everybody you think i'm just going to hide in the court uh, corridors in kenya no 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 in fact i'm doing is it watch out because these people are spoiling your name out here in a few years if you do not stop them are you going to be able to come out here no they'll close the borders on you guys do you know our president was actually looking towards having a free visa for african americans but when he chances upon this a few scammers here and there do you honestly think kenyans will want to work with you or tanzanians or ugandans when you're letting these people abuse us go do one two three things in one village or three villages and they they spoil your name because it's crazy put yourself in my shoes three years Uh, okay, thank you very much. Uh thank you Mercy as well. Thank you everybody in the chat that participated. You're welcome. Thank you. And uh and um servant of God, thank you very much especially, you know, saying those good things about Mercy. And that note everybody. This is Mr. Nice with Kung Fu Fanta and we're out.